Hi again, everybody. This video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous, and here is her story. And this has audio attached at the end. It's another one from Don't Be the Narcissist ATM, um, nurse practitioner and her nurse sister. Ali, another blocked voicemail from my narcissist sister attached. I went no contact with her about six weeks ago, and she continued to send these voicemails trying to lure me back in. I talk to my mom every day. My sister is mentioning in this voicemail that my mother's dementia seems to be getting worse and that she keeps forgetting that her brother, my uncle, who died a couple weeks ago, had died. She says that if I want to come see my mom, I should come and see her before she doesn't know who anyone is. These are the types of patients I take care of every day as a geriatric nurse practitioner so I know how to assess if someone has declining mental status. My sister is a nurse herself, and if she thinks my mom is having confusion, at the very minimum she should check her blood sugar and do an assessment on her as she knows to do these things but obviously doesn't bother. My mother has some short-term memory issues as anyone 82 years old has, but she does not have Alzheimer's. She does, however, get a little confused if she's too tired, stressed, or her blood sugar gets too high as she has diabetes. Anytime that's happened in the past, I've had my brother check her blood sugar and it's been over 400. Of course she knows this. She goes over twice a week and she knows the issues we've had with trying to keep my mom's blood sugar under control. My point is, at the very minimum, she's not even doing basic nursing assessment or trying to get my mom in to see her doctor. Because she's not, because she's making all it up. That's why. Just calling me four states away. She knows I can't do anything about it, so of course that's just a way to stress me out. I talk to my mom every day, and my mom is actually the one that usually brings up her brother's death in our conversations. I have now started recording my mom and my conversations just for my records as well. Just wanted to give another example of how a narcissist will, try, will keep trying to lure you in. I was listening to one of your earlier videos today when you told the subscriber in the video you made for them that they will never stop trying, and it is so true. She is trying so many different angles right now, tail spinning out of control, like you said, and I'm just sitting back watching the show. She is obviously trying to push, push my buttons, trying to push my buttons here to get me to call her, of course, or even trying to figure out if I'm coming down there so she can set me up for something. Just give me your thoughts. Thank you. And of course it's buffering. It's short, it's only 26 seconds, so. Do it again, pain in the butt. Hi Tristan, just calling you my mama. Uh, just wondering if you could come down. She's not coming out again now because her dementia is getting worse. You notice how fast she's talking, by the way. When she's calling in anger, she's loud, but she sure doesn't have that speed up, ex speeded up, excited tone. Much like um, Jenna in one of my last videos how she described her uncle and she got that feeling she was being set up for something. It's the same speech pattern, that really fast, high-pitched tone. You know they're up to something. She keeps forgetting she was your guys up and over. And I was over there last night. She forgot. I couldn't remember I was over there last night. So while her mind's still as good as it is, you might want to see her before she knows, don't even know us. So I'll just let you know. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, like that real quick, like she is testing because she's trying to see if the ATM machine will withdraw again. That that's what's going on there. And what you'll see and what you're seeing is that the you know, the narcissist will throw the kitchen sink at you. They will keep trying whatever angle they can to, to suck you back in. Okay? And that's really what your sister is doing right now, is just throwing the kitchen sink at, at you. That high, excited tone, I'm sure she doesn't talk like that unless she's looking for something, unless she wants something and she's nervous about it. 
Why does she sound so nervous and excited? That's somebody who's not confident in what they're saying because they were probably making it up. Or she had a problem with your mom's blood sugar that day. Said, oh, let me throw this at her and see if that works. Uh -uh. You can hear the desperation in their voice. And you could see it in her actions because that's stupid being that you're a nurse practitioner. She's a nurse and she comes at you with like this vague, oh, she can't remember anybody anymore. And I bet it just call me back before she just forgets us all. But that's something a patient would say. Family members of a patient would say. Okay, not somebody who's medically trained on her level. I, I think she said she's an oncology nurse. Right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She's just throwing the kitchen sink at you. And it's good that you're prepared for it. So thank you for the audio. Thank you for your contribution and all your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you know what to do with the PayPal and the email link in the description box. And remember, when you do email me your story, please include at the top of the email, whether it's with or without contribution, and what name you'd like to go by. This is Ollie Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.